And good morning, Washington. It's Tuesday, January 22nd. I'm Natasha Barrett in for Sine this morning. The events will be held today to mark the 40th anniversary of Roe versus Wade, one of the Supreme Court's most controversial decisions which legalized abortions. One group plans to hold a ceremony this afternoon to honor doctors and others who they say risk their lives to provide abortions. All right, moving now to news around the world. A nine-year-old girl is dead and several others injured after an earthquake rocked parts of Western Indonesia. The a magnitude right now we think is 4.9 that quake that hit around dawning. We do want to mention that Garrett County Schools in Maryland are on a two hour delay right now. That's Garrett County Schools two hour delay. So we'll keep you posted on any other announcements we have regarding schools. Now let's get to Jackie. She's got more on these cold temperatures this morning. All right, checking our top stories this morning at 447. A dance with the first lady ended a day of celebrations to mark President Obama's second inauguration last night. It began with the ceremony swearing in at the Capitol in front of hundreds of thousands of people. The president then made an aggressive call for action before taking part in his last inaugural parade. And jury selection is set to begin in the trial of a former Culpeper police officer, that officer accused of killing an unarmed woman. Prosecutors say Daniel Harmon Wright shot and killed Patricia Cook. It happened last February while responding to a suspicious person call. Now, they have to go somewhere, and Brian Carter knows where that is. It's Reagan National Airport. It's going to be a busy day at the airports, all airports today. Bree, how are things looking right now? Al? Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I mean, it's a big one. We're talking more than 30 years in the making that this hasn't happened. Jumi Alabanji at our live desk. Jumi, explain this one. Yes, that's going on today. President Obama, Vice President Biden, and their wives will attend the interfaith service that's happening at the National Cathedral today. The service includes prayers, readings, blessings, and hymns delivered by religious leaders from all across the country. You know, I was asking this. Was, <laughs> who was the first lady wearing? Who was she wearing? Well, we're getting some answers to those burning questions. Here's a look at what she wore for last night's inaugural balls. There. <laughs> Lots of romance. Time now, 457 and 20-something degrees. It's cold. Just put a lot of stuff on. <laughs>